Hello YouTube, this is Elzer Day 101 and today I'm going to make a little controller board for the front of my computer that will go like right here so that way I can choose whether all the lights in my computer are always on, off, or to music so I drew a little schematic and here it is basically a toggle switch controls whether the lights are on, off, or to music and then uh, that right there is a TIP 31 uh, transistor which will uh, amplify the audio signal and then here's the status LED which will um, show what the lights in your computer will be looking like now I'm gonna have I think I'm gonna have either six or seven of these toggle switches and LEDs in a row on a 3.5 inch bay but for now I'm only going to do one to make sure it all works and then uh, each one of those will control a different zone of lights and here I have the PCB I'm going to do it all on a hundred ohm uh, resistor which will uh, go from the LED like the status LED to the five volts coming out of the toggle switch my toggle switch then I have my TIP31 transistor 20 LEDs and this right here is a TIP 120 transistor the difference between these two are this will do 3 amps of components and this will do 8 amps of components so what I plan on doing is have my TIP 31 control uh, 3 amps of lights that are 5 volts and this will control 12 amps of lights that are uh, 10, 8 amps of lights that are 12 volts so I'm going to have two circuits of these but for now I'm only going to do one with the TIP31 and um, this is kind of what I want it to look like I want to have the front uh, right here and then this is where my board will be going in and I guess you'll see more what it looks like once I'm done, but for now I have to uh, measure my board so everything is spaced evenly. Okay, so I'm going to put one toggle switch every 1.5 centimeters because this is 9.5 centimeters long, so 9.5 divided by 1.5 is 6.3, so I can have six toggle switches with about a quarter of a centimeter room in between each base. And each base is about one centimeter thick, so that leaves me with enough room to uh, do all this. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure all these distances out so I know where I'm going to put each one. So I'm not going to show it. So yeah. Okay so now I have vertical lines showing where the toggle switches and the LEDs are going to be. But now I have to make two horizontal lines. One will be where the actual uh, switch part of the toggle switch comes out and another one will be where the center of the LED is going to be. So now I'm going to measure out those and put those in. Okay, so now the top line, it, where those two lines cross, each LED is going to be. So I'm drilling a 3mm hole right there for each light. And the bottom horizontal line, each time it crosses, there's going to be about a 5mm uh, um, hole for toggle switch to be. So uh, it's all lined up perfectly, so it's. I hope it, look, I hope it looks pretty good. So now I'm just going to drill some holes. Okay, so now I have the hole uh, for the LED at the top and I have the switch already in. And here's what the back looks like. And right here I have an LED, I mean not an LED, a uh, 100 ohm resistor, which this is where the 5 uh, volt out is going to be. And then I'm going to solder this onto it and put heat shrink over it so I can bend it and put it on the sides. Uh, and if I don't put heat shrink on it, uh, nothing will work because it'll short out right here. So, um, yep. Just have to wait for my soldering iron to heat up now. Okay, so now I have my resistor soldered on uh, with a uh, heat shrink on it. So, yep. And now my next step is to get my LED in this hole and hook it up, hook the negative up to my resistor. So, here we go. Okay, so now I have my toggle switch and LED in. Uh, the LED, the negative side, is soldered to my resistor. 
which is soldered onto the switch. And basically the switch is only going to switch negatives, um, because that's how my circuit's designed, because if I do it positives, then none of it works out right, so. Now I'm going to start uh, soldering my uh, transistor onto my PCB. So, I'm going to get my PCB straight here. And my TIP31 transistor. Okay, now I have my TIP31 transistor soldered to my copper clad PCB. Uh, and I have my wires soldered up to my toggle switch. And these are all ground wires, so... Uh, clicking it up will give me a constant on. Clicking it down will make the uh, light sensitive to sound. Now what I have to do is hook up this Molex connector to power everything. So I'm going to hook this up stationary onto here and then I'm going to solder the wires I'm going to solder the 5 volt wires to the circuit. I'm going to save the 12 volt wires for later when I do my other circuit to control 12 volt lights so yeah, uh, that's basically it okay so now my Molex connector is basically glued to the PCB well I didn't actually use glue I just melted it onto it but still all good then I have my ground soldered to my uh, TIP31, and then I just have my positive soldered right there. And now the positive is where I'm going to solder this LED to, but first I want to hook this up to wire and put heat shrink over it. And then uh, my other, all my lights are, will be soldered to this positive. Okay, so basically I'm just going to add wire here and solder it to that. Alright, so now this is my negative terminal, and this is my positive terminal, and whenever I connect here, I can control this switch right here. And uh, I have my LED in, as I already said, and now I have all my wires ran. Now I just have to set up my audio connection so that I can, can connect an audio input to control lights too. So what I'm going to do is I have a 3mm uh, jack like hooked up to a wire that I'm just gonna it's already spliced I'm just gonna uh, have thread it through some holes right here and solder it uh, solder some traces that go to the pit cr the correct pins so yeah it's gonna be pretty good I already tested it and plugged it into my computer uh, to make sure that the wires were all wired up so when I had it on uh, solid mode the, this status indicator was on steady so Okay, so this is my final product. I actually redid it with the other uh, transistor, so I have more amps. And right now, I have it switched, so this, uh, the lights are always on, and that's my status indicator. So I'm going to flip it the other way, and as, as you can see, uh, the light's off, but that's because there's no music playing. So just a second, I'm going to turn some on. Okay. Here, I'll turn up the music so you can hear it. Okay, so see the uh, LED is blinking to the sound. I'm going to turn the sound back off now. Okay, I just turned the music down, so the LED is actually still blinking to it. But this is actually just a status indicator, so all my other LEDs are going to be wired and that's just like a preview of what the lights are going to look like. So I'm going to repeat what I did seven times and I'm going to have seven switches, six switches and six lights and each off switch will control a different zone in my computer. So, um, like I might have one switch control the two fans in the back or with this fan or the fan in the front. So, thanks for watching my video and uh, if you followed along, you'd have exactly what I have, and I hope you liked my video. I, I had a lot of details in it, so please subscribe and check out my other videos. Bye.